Meet the 3D platformer that is over 10 years in the making. Clive and Wrench is a celebration of the N64 and PS2 eras of 3D platformers respectively, and I've been at the forefront hyping this game up for quite some time. Is this the new gold standard for the indie 3D platformer, or is this time-traveling adventure stuck in the past? The game starts out by introducing the story of the evil Dr. Dacus stealing blueprints for a device that could threaten time and space as we know it. Thanks to some time-traveling functionality in the form of fridges, the platform platforming duo is thrust into a hub world that spans several eras and locations. This is where our platforming adventure truly begins. Clive and Wrench's platforming moveset is an absolute highlight of the game for me. Everything you want in a 3D platformer from double jumps to sprinting which triggers long jumping and even the side somersaulting jumps you may be familiar with if you're a 3D Mario veteran are here. But the most fun mechanics lie within your buddy Wrench. You can swing your monkey partner in style like a helicopter which allows you to sail around levels in a way that never gets old. Wrench is also a focal point within combat when swinging him mid-jump or performing spin attacks to defeat foes. The combat is pretty standard as far as the genre goes, but it's effective enough. The gameplay loop is also pretty standard, but very easy to understand. Collect pocket watches to serve as the sole purpose of just letting you know what areas are unexplored. Collect clocks to unlock boss areas. Help an NPC or two find their kids or locate other NPCs. And occasionally trigger a switch or two to unlock sub-areas of each sandboxy environment. While the levels themselves are pretty diverse visually, and later levels looking better than the earlier ones generally, this gameplay loop is effectively the same in every single world of Clive and Wrench. The deviations from the loop are very rare and tend to only happen later in the game. Even the enemies are essentially the same throughout your adventure, just with a look appropriate to each setting. Bosses do provide a nice change of pace from time to time, with some involving combat, some dynamic chase sequences, and also some that I wouldn't classify as boss levels at all. As a celebration of retro 3D platformers, the moveset being the same is totally fine. I just wish there were more opportunities as you play to expand on the gameplay and take more advantage of the duo's moveset. The moveset itself is still very solid, but what was less so is the game's general performance. The game was initially set to target 30 FPS on consoles, although that has changed as an option for 60 on PS5, but I can see why 30 was the target. The game did not run at a smooth frame rate on PC, and locking it to 30 seems like a smart move, though it may disappoint those that want higher frame rates and smoother frame pacing. What's worse though is I experienced many issues, including aspects of the environment stuttering along in a jarring way, general issues with Clive and Wrench's models, big frame drops, camera issues, getting stuck in animations, and multiple times getting stuck to the point where I'd be softlocked, needing to exit, and losing some progress in the process. While patches can address this, I can't review what a game could be. I simply need to review my experience as it was, and my experience had some rough spots. But with all that out of the way, do I still recommend this game? Well, actually yes, but to a specific crowd of people. If you're a huge fan of the genre like I am, and love going back to the N64 and PS2 generations, I still think you'll have a good time during the game's highs as long as you're tolerant to the game's issues. In that respect, this game is more like the next ukulele than the next Ahead in Time. It's a safer 3D platformer with a cool moveset that gives me hope for the future of the series, and I definitely want this series to continue. But are you planning on picking this up? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to discover your next favorite games, and I'll see you in the next one.